Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott, these are the inverts, and today is the Balfouri Communal Rehouse. Now they say on Facebook if you talk about two different things, it's guaranteed to cause an argument, and that is substrate and our Balfouri Communal. Well, originally we started off with a colony of 14. Last time we rehoused them, they'd gone down to nine. Fingers crossed, we have still got nine with us today. Come with me and let's go check it out. Build them a new setup and crack on. So guys, this is the old cell, but it actually looks a lot bigger than what it actually is. There's that one tunnel there which seems to house all the Monocentopus Balfourian. Um, but look how much they've webbed up. So I'm going to have to create a lot of webbing points in the new enclosure for these guys. The substrate is sand, it's got a few stones in there, coyes in there, and dry moss as well as. Um, but I'm going to take the spiders out, put check this, there's one there giving me a little threat pose, lying on its back, and we have six. So three's missing, one tiny sling that I found dried up, probably died of natural causes, but two are completely missing. Um, so did they get eaten, did they not? We don't know. Um, that background there is hardwood bark, I scavenged that from a, somebody that was cutting down their tree last year and I've just hot glue gunned it to the back of the enclosure. Um, it's really really rough so it's going to create tons and tons of webbing points. And there's another piece of um, hardwood bark just in front of that which is just supporting some of the uh, substrate, stop it coming down. And then this piece of uh, hardwood bark is going to go on the side again, creating more webbing points. Hopefully they'll web between that side piece and the back. That would be absolutely awesome. But in there, I'm going to get some more, put some more hardwood in there, put some bit of cork bark in there. So, so simple to set, set a Balfouri communal up. Um, that substrate's also got quite a lot of dried moss in there um, as well. This piece of court bark here is actually from their old setup. That's where they used to all reside inside there. So what I'm hoping is as they come into this setup, they'll be able to sense the pheromones inside there and feel a little bit less stressed out. Um, a bit later on in the video, I'll put the, put the spiders into containers and let them come out by themselves. The first one, literally, as I put the container in, it comes flying out. But you'll see that. It's absolutely phenomenal. A lot faster than what I thought these guys are. Anyway, I'm going to start some music off and I'll see you at the outro.
if you've got this far into the video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe because it really does help me out and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos go out. They normally go out on a Monday and a Thursday, 7 p.m. GMT or UTC time as well. So that was the Balfouri communal rehouse. My God, that female looked a bit big, didn't she? Um, I think I'm gonna keep my eyes permanently on that enclosure over the next couple of weeks. And if she starts to display any type of aggression to the others, then she's gonna be coming out and going in the enclosure by herself. Um, I'm gonna overfeed, I'm gonna keep the feeders permanently in there, not gonna let it run out of food, see if that helps, and then we'll open it back up in six months time, and we'll see how many we've got left. Hopefully in six months, they'll all be grown on, that female will be absolutely massive. The others, fingers crossed, they'll be large juveniles, so, yeah. Are they communal, aren't they communal? I don't know, it works for some, it doesn't work for others. It's not working for me so far. I would really, really, really like um, an enclosure kind of this size with 30 or 40 in there um, because they are an absolute stunning species and I think our higher numbers seems to be the better way to be keeping Balfouri, keeping that aggression down. So maybe that's the way forward for me. Maybe I should get some more and add them to the enclosure, sort of get about 20 in there maybe. Um, if you've got experience with keeping Balfouris successfully in a communal, let us know down in the comments, drop your secrets down there so we can all use that information. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one.